What's going on, America? It's your boy, Charlie Box, the Patriot of Misprint with InfoWars.com. And I don't know if you know by now, but America is in its second civil war. Patrick Henry once stated, the liberties of the people never war and never will be secure when the transactions of the rulers will be concealed from them. Well, how many of Americans know about Balt Savin or even remember it? When WikiLeaks put out these emails, it came out that they were having spear dinners where they were drinking breast milk and drinking semen. Uh, it came out that uh, there was some pedophilia with the Podesta brothers when they were serving little hot dogs and little pizzas in hot tubs at, at parties at their leisure of different races. And if you guys don't know, that's lingo for children. Hot dogs are for boys and pizzas are for little girls. What well, also came out in these art, these uh, emails that a standing president, Barack Hussein Obama, ordered $150,000 worth of hot dogs to the White House. That's male escorts. But I'm willing to bet the most people haven't heard that because they were distracted about racism in America at that time. It came out in Vault 7 that Hillary Clinton had an unsecured server at her home, and she was correlating with 12 other individuals with secret code names and one of them was Barack Hussein Obama using a code name. This is treason against America and when she deleted 30,000 emails that's disposing way of evidence and that all came out under the Vault 7 but the most of Americans didn't hear too much about that. Why? Racism in America. And today we got the IG report. All the evidence that proves that Hillary Clinton, Barack Obama, John McCabe, James Comey, Peter Strzok, Lisa Page, Christopher Steele, Nally and Bruce Orr, Robert Mueller, James Clapper, Loretta Lynch, Susan Rice, and Samantha Powers all try to stop Trump from being the next president of the United States of America. The fake FISA warrant, it was a, it was a political uh, uh, adversary that, that started this investigation, which is all treason at the highest level and they didn't stop just for conspiring for him to get the nomination but when he got the nomination the american people spoke that we wanted trump's agenda not globalist agenda well they're still trying to this day to take him out of office america's spoken we want to have nationalism americaism rather than socialism and the left don't like that so we have the second american civil war at hand right now in 2018. In America, you really need to know who you're standing with and what their tactics are and their agenda for you in the end is. Well, we have an article over here at Infowars.com. It says, Documents Detail Plan for Civil Unrest and Martial Law in Baltimore. There's some internal documents that appear to belong to the Friends for Democracy or George Soros Sons activist groups that wants to accelerate civil unrest and justifying the rollout of martial law across America. Because they were hoping Hillary Clinton was gonna be the president of the United States, but they didn't get their way. They were trying to sow the seeds of discontent in the American people's hearts in the African-American community. You guys remember when Trayvon Martin or Freddie Gray was their name in there? It was all about uh, hating white people and people and the white supremacy and black people got to go out there and do something about it. Well, it came out in these documents that uh, George Soros was funding groups like Antifa to go out there and do a little bit of nudging themselves. And that the government, the, the, the police departments and set cities like Baltimore and wherever else they had these, uh, uh, these mass demonstrations, they were ordered to stand down and let the people cause social arrest and, and destroy property. These are the tactics of the left, America. We as Americans are going to take for granted the United States Bill of Rights and our Constitution because everything the American left today is promising come from the Communist Manifesto. Education is right, health care is right, immigrants' rights, a universal health care and, and free jobs for everybody. It just don't work out for people like that. we got to look at world history. Look at socialists under freaking uh, 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 Hitler. Millions of Jews died. Well, look at the communists under Chinese rule over there, not throughout history of Chinese communist rule. Over 800 million of their own citizens died of democide by their own standing government. Over there under the communists in China today, you got death bans where they round up uh, political dissidents, Christians and, and, and Buddhists, and imprison them. And whenever they want to take out the organs and harvest them, sell them to the black market, they got death bans that take them to the airport, cut out all the organs and their blood, and sell them on the black market. That's under communism. Under socialism in our day today, you got Venezuela where people are eating dogs and cats, eating zoo animals, women 
that were professionals that are going into prostitutions. People are leaving there in the thousands every freaking day, fleeing that socialist state because there's only hostility with the political left in all our freaking countries today. So the American Civil War that is at foot right now, you have to make a decision, Mr. and Mrs. America, what side you're standing on, on the side of God or the side of government. God on the side over here is with Trump. We put in America first before globalism first. Putting all people together, not racial division. We as people do not need to be used as useful idiots. We have to understand the tactics of Solinsky rules for radicals and the Hegelian dialect. They want us to go out there and write. They're causing the problem. They're controlling the freaking actions and they want to clamp down on us. And they want to get Trump out of office. Put in America first and put in some, uh, 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 some uh, 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 accountability with the government and society all comes from the right and not the left. We as people are going to take for granted the United States Bill of Rights and our Constitution if we stand over there. And if you want to radically revolutionize America and overthrow the set government and usher in a democracy or a socialist society, well, you're not going to have no rights at the end of it, America. We over here at Infowars.com are teleprompter free. We never want you guys to believe any content or information that we share with you guys on a daily basis. But to try to prove us wrong, if you were to look up any of the stuff that we share with you guys, you guys are going to understand that we're only going to try to tell you the truth because we want you guys to keep coming back. And as you guys gather that information, what we want you to do is share that information with a loved one or a co-worker. And if we have a, a well-educated populace, the well-educated populace could make well-informed decisions and we can evoke the right social change. So America, this is Charlie Box of Patriotic Miscreant with Infowars.com and I'm out. Patrick Henry once stated, the liberties of the people never were. Blah, blah, blah. Patrick Henry once stated, the liberties of the people never were nor ever will be secure when the transactions of the rulers will be concealed from them. How many of Americans today will remember Bolt 7 when it came out when. Blah, 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 blah.